when I think back to the fact that just a few of us in a small lab in Australia, what we were able to do, especially in those early years, to then continue it for a whole 30 or more years, it just makes me very proud. My name is Tino Vescovi and I'm one of the founders of Rectify Technologies. In 1992, I turned 50 that year. There was then a great opportunity because we were at the beginning of this great revolution in the power conversion industry. People would have to cut holes in buildings in order to put it inside the building. With this new technology, the equipment became so small that a person could actually carry one unit. When you look back, they were real pioneers in this uh, area of battery charging. I'm Paul Davis. I'm the Operations Manager of Rectifier Technologies in Melbourne, and I've been with the company for 20 years. Ian, Tino and uh, Nigel developed uh, some battery charging technology. Switch mode technology has been around for a very long time, but then to use the technology to create high powered and high efficiency product for particularly the telecom industry, that was groundbreaking. In 1992, uh, the company was licensing technology. Some of the companies we spoke to didn't have the proper facilities to manufacture the equipment by themselves. But every technology needs to be powered. We are the ones supplying that power. So it was around uh, 2006, 2007, that we transitioned from just licensing to actually providing OEM equipment. Innovation is our lifeblood. Without innovation, uh, we, we die. My name is Nicholas Yeo, and I look after sales and marketing for the business. 2010 was quite a rough period. The business was in arguably its lowest moment, and there were some drastic moves that needed to be made, and we really needed a leader to take us through that rough patch. Yan Bin came into the business and uh, was responsible for driving that change. That was a pivotal moment for us. We have been able to sail through that rough patch, which is why we are here today, experiencing a period of growth and able to take on new challenges. We are headquartered in Melbourne, Australia. We've also got our manufacturing facility that's based in Johor Bahru, Malaysia. And we've also got a sales and marketing team that's based out of Singapore. Everyone wants more power with greater efficiency at lower cost in a smaller box. My name is Peter Sykes. I'm the Hardware Engineering Manager at Rectify Technologies. I think we're positioning ourselves very well in a growth area. The whole world is undergoing an energy revolution at the moment. The challenge of climate change will ensure that more and more energy usage will be electrified. The world needs more renewable, storable energy. We got ourselves in the e-mobility space around about 2014, and things really changed for us in 2017, where we started to make big strides in this space. Everybody's talking about renewable technology to bring about a sustainable future for the planet and our technology is a key part of making that happen. If we look at the RT22 for example, it really illustrates the capability of the organisation to bring the right product at the right time to the right market. We find new technologies to power and most recently, it's because of the growth of the e-mobility industry, which gives us the opportunity to take our business to another level. There is something about Rectifier Technologies that keeps its people together. For any small to medium-sized company to have been in business for 30 years is a remarkable achievement. When people deal with Rectify Technologies, I want them to know that we're a company that they can trust and we can rely on. We work together with our customers very closely to ensure their success, which leads to our success. After 30 years, uh, what's at the heart of the business is great people developing reliable product that people can put their trust in all around the world. 30 years is a huge milestone, but there's even more to come. 
well, hopefully 30 plus to go. Yes, that would be something to look forward to. I probably won't see the 30 year come up, but you never know. I'll give it a try. <laughs> I would be very happy if uh, Rectifier outlived me, definitely. <laughs>